back to my YouTube channel Elliot Fair Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, we have furthermore analysis for gold and silver. We are going to look at it uh, for the long time frame analysis as well as compared and uh, the short term analysis as well. So once again we'll start with the with the bottom that we have created on daily time frame and we can see that and the bottom is actually from this bottom we can easily count away one and two and three and four I believe that we are right now going through a structure which is a triangle at wave four and then as soon as that structure is complete we are going to go up on the complete five wave structure in uh, gold on a larger time frame we have also five wave structure from the previous bottom so we can count that as five wave structure correction followed by another five wave structure and then we're looking for another correction but for now uh, on a smaller time frame analysis we are right now ranging inside the triangle and inside the triangle uh, we be i believe that we have um, a clear a b c d e pattern i believe this is with a b c and d pattern all of them are double zigzag or single zigzag we have the only flat that's going in the uh, triangle and that's wave e which is a b c e a flat correction which is wave e of the triangle as soon as this trunk uh, wave is complete we are very close to the completion of the structure uh, then we are expecting the price movement to upward size we can look on a hourly time frame to see what's happening on a smaller time frame i was expecting bearish price action today but it did not happen the structure we thought uh, was not we thought it was and, and i'll come and uh, give a bit of explanation as well so when you're looking at the triangle and you expect that the triangle is we are looking for as a b c d and e and the price did not actually come downward in that case the first thing you can got to do is uh, put the triangle in the center like right now we are going to do is that this is our wave a of the zigzag and wave b is the triangle uh, and wave c is the ending wave so we, we have a zigzag pattern which has a center uh, as a triangle so this is the first thing that you got to do and you got to do labeling a bit of right as well now we consider this is a of the triangle b of the triangle c of the triangle d of the triangle and e of the triangle is very very short so it's still a triangle only with a bit of different labeling so what if uh, what is expected on the large time frame? It's a very um, uh, ugly looking pattern that you're going to see, especially in wave C. Right now we're considering this as a three wave structure, a three wave structure which is a double zigzag, and then we're expecting a five wave structure in this. We have already completed wave one and two and three and four, very close to the completion of wave four. We already have completed or we are very close to the completion of wave 4 and then we are expecting a sharper move on the downside now if you pay attention to the previous wave 1 and wave 3 which are both impulsive wave uh, which are directional wave in the direction of the main trend that actually started from the top they are very sharp so i'm expecting a similar behavior uh, that there is a possibility that we can actually see a sharper wave uh, towards uh, 2340 we could say uh, that our target right now is 2340 ish um, and that's quite a bit if it's almost like six uh, eighty dollar drop if it's going to happen right from 2418 right now so it's quite a bit of move uh, the question remains that what's going to happen uh, what's going to indicate whether our wave count is wrong so we we'll look at it this is our wave one and two and three and four and wave five this is our the easiest part is that if uh, this wave goes enter into the territory uh, i mean goes above 2460 this is one part the problem is that that's a bit far away 2460 so we can other we can do maybe uh, another thing and then we can um, see that if it crosses 2440 okay uh, no this is uh, 2427 you're expecting so if it crosses 2440 that means that we are looking at something else okay it shall not cross 2440 and i have reasons for that it shall not why i'm saying 2440 so it shall not cross the price action shall not cross 2440 if it does that means we are looking at a bottom already being formed already i'm still bearish on gold nothing has changed only an upset and that's why you need uh, financial um, management proper finance uh, proper capital management in your trading because you are just leveraging um, probability and sometimes it does not work the structure does not work like it's a, one of the common mistakes that we do either it's a triangle or it's in a, a zigzag with a triangle in the center so you will see a lot of it if you are a electrician or if you have decided to become an electrician um, uh, 
I'll talk more about being technical and analyst. And, but right now, I'm expecting a stronger move on the bearish side. Uh, the question remains, uh, what is expecting? What are we expecting in silver? Silver has moved what we were saying yesterday that the structure, we were not clear. The larger structure now makes sense now. Okay, so I do believe that silver is still expected to be on the bearish side. Uh, we still have some opportunity left on the bearish side. Uh, and I believe we can once again, it's a very ugly looking uh, ABC structure. We can, uh, if you want, you can mess it a bit different, but I'm considering this holds from the top. I'm considering it a 5 wave structure from the bottom, followed by a correction and another 5 wave that I uh, moved downward. So um, wave 4 is has taken way more time I still don't believe that we have taken probably a top uh, in, in silver. Uh, let me have a look. So if silver drops below uh, this area, which is a support area, and uh, can close an hourly bar at least below, we can consider the top has been made. But it looks to me there quite be a possibility that we are actually going a bit up, uh, if not so. But on whether we have completed the top or we have not completed the top, but I think the uh, our uh, analysis is indicating that we are seeing uh, bearish action more on silver as well. So I'm expecting bearish action in silver as well uh, towards $26. Um, I'll close that. So the structure is yet not complete. Uh, one good thing that we have is that if you look at the price action, I have to chart and move a lot. If you look at the price action, uh, then we haven't actually cleared any uh, uh, important points. This is the this is this still the structure. Uh, it looks like a an ABC structure, three wave structure, which is a good thing for us. And we are expecting that the larger wave is still on the bearish side. Although I have said on the next, the problem is that we need to look what's important uh, on a long time frame. So I did indicate in my previous analysis, and I'm going to repeat it again, that when silver brings down further towards around $26, this is going to be the low for a while. We are expecting, as soon as the low is occurred, we are expecting a sharper move in silver. Maybe silver is going to be more aggressively sharper or stronger as compared to gold this time. All right, we are expecting because uh, gold is taking way more time in, in, in that uh, triangle that we have, all right? And that's why I'm expecting as soon as the bottom is confirmed, we are waiting for the spring to go up all the way up and match over here. And then there is a probability that we can actually see some correction and then fo uh, follow the trend on the bullish side. But um, next, th today is I going to be, I believe it's going to be a Friday. It's going to be an important day and we'll see a lot of price action probably in gold and silver. Wish you good luck with your trading. I'll be posting more analysis if you uh, see some uh, more uh, unexplained data in the market as well. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.